The all-new Microsoft Edge browser, based on Chromium, offers a great web experience with fast loading times, improved security, tools for developers, and a ton of useful features built in. So coming up, I'll show you 15 cool Microsoft Edge features you might not know about, and we're starting right now. Before moving forward, you'll want to make sure that you're running the latest version of Edge. To check this, click the three-dot menu icon in the upper right. In the drop-down menu, go all the way down to Help and Feedback and select About Microsoft Edge. It will automatically check for an update and update it if needed. The first feature I have for you is their new sidebar search, which makes it quick and easy to perform a search on any word or topic without having to open up a new tab. To try this out, select the text on any web page. I'll go with the word Bitcoin. The easiest way to do this is to left click on the word twice. And as you can see, it's highlighted. Now right click the highlighted text and select search in sidebar four. This will open a sidebar here on the right with the search using the word you selected. The web capture tool lets you take a screenshot of a portion of the web page or the entire page. To take a screenshot, go to the menu in the upper right and select Web Capture. Or you could use the keyboard shortcut, Control plus Shift plus letter S. Your choices are Free Select or Full Page. Let's go with Free Select. Left click and drag to capture the content and then let go. After which you can copy and add notes. Selecting copy will copy it to your clipboard to paste wherever you want. If you go with Add Notes, you have additional choices. You can mark it up with the Draw tool, share with others, copy, and save it to your computer. This one is interesting. If you have websites that you visit frequently, you can install them as apps. For example, if you wanted to install YouTube as an app, go to the menu in the upper right, go down to Apps, and select Install YouTube. And bear in mind, this works with any site. And click on Install. This will now open the site you installed in its own separate app window. We'll close this out. To manage these site apps you have installed, go to the menu, back down to Apps, and select Manage Apps. Go to the app, right click. You have the choice to view the site permissions, Create Shortcut, or Uninstall it from your computer. When you click on Create Shortcut, you have the options to pin it to your desktop or the Start menu and then click pin when you're done. This next feature lets you create a vertical stack of your open tabs along the left side of the browser. To do this, click the small icon in the upper left to turn on vertical tabs. To switch back to the horizontal layout, click the icon again to turn off vertical tabs. Edge has a cool feature called Immersive Reader that simply makes web pages more readable without the extra clutter. To use it, look for the book icon to the right of the address bar and click it. There's a read aloud feature that will read the article to you, along with options to set your text preferences, grammar tools to highlight nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs, and reading preferences gives you additional options. Their shopping tool is quite handy. It compares the prices of the product you're looking at with other retailers and alerts you if any coupons or promos are available. To use it, click their shopping icon to the right of the address bar. In this example, it appears this item is available elsewhere for $100 less, but there are no coupons or promos available for this product. A feature some of you might find useful to organize your web activity is collections. It lets you organize the web pages, snippets, and images you find around the web. To access your collections, select the collections icon to the right of the address bar. I have three that I've recently started. To add the current page to any of your collections, select the collection and then select add current page. When you right click on anything in your collection, you have several choices, including the ability to add a note. After you've added your note, click the check mark. To create a new collection, let's click the back button up here and select Start New Collection. Name it whatever you want and hit Enter on your keyboard. Let's hit the back button. 
And as you can see, it was just added. Let's close this out by hitting the X. Another way of adding a web page to a collection is to simply right click on the page, go to Add Page to Collections, and select the collection. Let's scroll down the page here. To add an image to your collection, right click the image, Add to Collections, and select the collection. Pinning tabs is a great way to keep your favorite sites open in just a click away. To pin a tab, right click on it and select Pin Tab. You'll notice it takes up less space. The Pin Tab feature is fairly common with most browsers, so most of you probably know this by now. Taking things to another level for most visited sites, Microsoft Edge lets you pin those sites to your taskbar. Here's how you do it. Go to the menu in the upper right, More Tools, and select Pin to Taskbar. Change the name if you want, and click Pin. Now you'll notice it down here in the taskbar. To unpin it, just right click on it and select Unpin from Taskbar. Extensions are a great way to enhance the functionality of your browser. To find and add extensions, go to Menu and select Extensions. On this page, select Get Extensions for Microsoft Edge. This will take you to the Edge add-on store. Go find the extension you want and click on Get, and this will add the extension to Microsoft Edge. But wait, there's more! Because Edge is Chromium-based, you can also install extensions from the Chrome Web Store in Edge. To make this happen, go back to the Edge Extensions page. Here in the lower left, Enable, Allow Extensions from Other Stores. Then click Allow. Then head on over to the Chrome Web Store. Thankfully, Microsoft has made this easier now with a handy link. Click on it. Go and find your extension, select it, then click Add to Chrome, which will add it to Microsoft Edge. As most of you know, the more tabs you have open, the more your browser will slow down. To stop inactive tabs from using resources and take advantage of the Sleeping Tabs feature, go to Menu and select Settings. In the left pane, select System. In the section Save Resources, go and Enable. Save resources with sleeping tabs. Now below that, choose a time of inactivity when those tabs go to sleep from five minutes all the way up to 12 hours. I'm gonna set mine here to 30 minutes. Now when you click on an inactive tab that's been sleeping, clicking on that tab will wake it up. DNS servers turn website names into IP addresses. In Edge, the default DNS is what is set up by your ISP. If you want better security, privacy, and in some cases improved speeds, I'll show you how to change the DNS provider. Let's go back to the menu and select Settings. Then go to Privacy, Search, and Services. Scroll down the page and look for the Security section. First, make sure that Use Secure DNS to specify how to look up the network address for websites is enabled. Below that, select the second option, Choose a Service Provider. When you click on the box, you'll see a list of DNS providers. You may have to experiment to find what works best for your situation. Personally, my favorite is Cloudflare. Edge includes a dark theme for the browser that's easier on the eyes. To activate it, go to Menu and select Settings. In the left pane, go to Appearance. Then click the drop-down menu for default theme. If you have Windows 10, System Default will be what you have it set to in the Operating System Settings app. Your other choices are Light and Dark. As you can see, Light is quite a bit brighter, so let's switch it back to Dark. When you do a search on Edge, Microsoft's Bing is the default search engine. Obviously, this is one setting Microsoft would wish that you do not change, but if you'd like to switch to another search engine, click the menu icon, and go to Settings. Then head on over to Privacy, Search, and Services. Now scroll down to the bottom of the page, and buried here in Services, click the right arrow for Address Bar and Search. For Search Engine used in the Address Bar, click the drop-down menu. It's not surprising Bing is the recommended. Of the other choices, DuckDuckGo is the best. Bear in mind this only changes the default search engine for the Address Bar. The default on the home screen search box can't be changed, but if you click below in the other drop-down menu, and select Address Bar. It will default all searches attempted using the search box to the Address Bar. And if you want to use a search engine not listed, 
Click the right arrow next to Manage Search Engines, and clicking Add will let you add the name of the search engine and the URL. Privacy is not a word generally associated with Microsoft, but when compared to Facebook, they're actually pretty good. With their tracking prevention feature, to control how companies track you, click the menu icon and then select Settings. Then on the left, select Privacy, Search, and Services. Here on the right, tracking prevention is broken down into three tiers, Basic, Balanced, and Strict. Make sure the slider for tracking prevention is toggled on and select your level of protection. Basic will be the best for those of you that love targeted tracking, with Strict being the best for those of you that hate it but you might find websites don't load properly. I have found that Balanced works pretty good as a compromise between the two. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What are your favorite features of the new Microsoft Edge? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest software for your computer and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.